Deputy Speaker. Thank you, Honorable Chairperson. I just thought I would use this opportunity to remind the House that even as we discuss about amending the Cancer Prevention Bill, we also need to remind ourselves that despite a petition that I brought before this House in 2019, which can help us further prevent cancer by ensuring the removal of 262 pesticide products that have been confirmed by world science as causing cancer. In fact, they were not only confirmed by world science, but persons who developed cancer as a result of those pesticides continue to be sold in this country. Yet the persons in the United States and, the, and Europe got an order from the United States Superior Courts in California where the farmers were paid up to $250 million for developing cancer as a result of the use of these pesticides. So if we truly, and I'm asking um, the honorable member who has brought this amendment, that if we are truly committed to this cancer prevention, then the first stop is to stop the products that are clearly causing cancer and unknown. And this has been brought before the Pest Products Control Board several times. They have been incorrigible. They have continued to be in bed with the agrochemical companies. And in fact, recently, I know they were appearing before the Health Committee. An honorable uh, member, you know very well, you were a member of the Health Committee when I appeared before the Health Committee. The Health Committee, instead of ordering that those products be removed from the Kenyan market, the committee was irresponsible by leaving it back to the vultures who are the Pest Products Control Board, telling them, please remove them from the market. So far, since 2019, they have only removed seven products. The rest continue to remain on the market. Roundup, people who got it was confirmed, Roundup gave people cancer. They were removed from the markets abroad. But here in Kenya, they are being resold under a different name. All those products are in our market. It is known to the authorities. It is known to the health committee. So actually, what we are doing in amending that bill is counterproductive. The real amendment should be dealing with this. And I think it's one of the things we should be asking in the House, why is the health committee not acting? The first health committee in the 12th parliament did not act. The second health committee in this 13th parliament has not acted. The Pest Products Control Board has not acted. The Ministry of Agriculture has not acted. Yet these are known facts. And those products are actually manufactured in Europe and America. But in those countries, they are not allowed to be used. They are allowed to manufacture them for export to foolish countries like Kenya, who are foolish enough to allow the product into their country to continue to kill their members of public. Thank you, Honorable Chairperson.